Welcome back to my channel and I'm very happy to be here today showcasing a demo. Something that I've been working on which I think could add real world value to artists and various people in the Web3 space who wants to onboard more people, who wants to make it accessible. Now, I'm going to explain everything about this cool little solution that I have and also eventually make it open source. Seeing that in this demo, I will be revealing private keys and secret phrases just to show you how the process works. Keep in mind that anything you see in this video is for educational and informational purposes only and it should not be used in real life. You should not go and try and import these keys because they would be of no value and also could cause harm. I would recommend just enjoying the video and not do anything with the keys that you are seeing on the screen. Other than that, I also want to mention that there are various solutions to the same problem and there's one that's even better which I'll show in the future. But this one is very exciting and I'll explain why. Now with all that out of the way, let's jump into the demo and let me start off by explaining what this is that you're going to be looking at. You see, as an artist, I wanted a way to sell someone my NFT, my artwork, without the need for them to have an immediate wallet at hand, without the immediate need to give that person the context that they need to get that NFT, as at a gallery night or an event, there's not enough time to do so. There might be enough time to sell someone an NFT and how about just handing them this pamphlet, which contains everything needed for them to get that NFT to another wallet. Well, this is exactly what I've built. It is an NFT card generator. The purpose of this is to build a platform that can generate a wallet and then go ahead and send that NFT to that wallet, generate the private and the seed phrases, and also have a nice interface for someone to scan and see that wallet and see that NFT in it. Then when you make a sale of your NFT, you can hand this card to someone, and when they have it, they can open it up, reveal the secret phrases, import that wallet, send some funds, and get that NFT out of there to a proper long storage wallet. If this all seems foreign to you, don't worry, let me explain in a visual way. So essentially, I've got a wallet address containing, let's say, 50 NFTs. And what I want to do is I want the program to create 50 different wallets, wallet addresses, give me their private key, their seed phrase, as we generate them, then that NFT to this wallet, then I want to go and grab that NFT's image, put a QR code to scan to go to Etherscan and also find a way to uh, make it difficult for someone to just read it as this flap over here will fold up and cover the private key and the seed phrase. That is the basic solution and that is what I'll be demoing. And in order to get that end final product, which I'll explain more about why it's so useful, is we can start off by doing it in a step-by-step -step way. We can first scan for the NFT IDs. We can then go and grab the metadata. We can then go and associate wallets, generate them and associate them with that metadata. And then lastly, we can generate the cards. There's a final step, which I've not included in this demo, which will transfer the NFTs. I don't actually want to finalize the process now as I don't want these NFTs to actually be in there. But let me go ahead and run this program and show you in the terminal on how it works. So here we can see we scanning the NFT uh, wallet here at the start. We're getting the IDs. There's about 55 NFTs. Once we have it, we go and grab the relevant metadata associated to each one of these NFTs. Once we have that, we actually have enough information to go ahead, generate some wallets for us, and then go ahead and actually generate the final output cards. And here you can see they are being generated right now. We just got this brand new one. So while this is generating, I'm simply going to open one up and let's zoom in and see what's been added. Now, previously you looked at my template, which was quite empty, as you can see right here. There's no information, no data um, present in these fields. But if I open the generated one, here you can see we've got the image of the NFT and if you scan this, you'll actually get to Etherscan. And this is the public key. So this one is okay to have revealed 
to the public, right? But the information on the right here should be kept secret. No one should really see the private key or the seed phrase, only you should see it if you own this card, if you want to own this NFT or maybe transfer it from this wallet out into a long storage wallet. And then lastly, what the program also does is generate this jumbled up text, which is random for each card. This is so that if we flip up this card and it is all sealed up, it's way more difficult to shine a light through and actually see what the words are. Now, of course, this brings a ton of security risks. And one of the things you might think is, well, if I generate that, then me as the artist selling these NFTs, I can actually see all these keys, right? And yes, that is true. You should kind of trust them in a sense that they would not have revealed it to anyone and that this card, once it's printed, packaged and packed, is the only one in existence. Now, no one can guarantee that. So the base use case for these that I see um, regarding the security risk is actually to go ahead, once you have made the sale, to have the client open it up, reveal the package, get that excitement of opening a present, and then going and importing the seed phrase into their MetaMask, adding some funds, and then transferring this NFT out to a safer wallet, something that they have generated. And so this will just act as a temporary wallet. And like I said, there's many solutions to how this can be done, but I think the notion of having many of these cards available in a binder where you are as an artist at an exhibition and you can actually sell these individual NFTs physically in real life, hand it to someone and having them open it up, seeing that secret phrase, um, adding it to their wallet and then obtaining the NFT is such a cool experience. But I would love to hear what you guys think about this. Now, like I said, there's also a better way of dealing with this uh, when it comes to not needing to have the secret phrases and instead work with pre-approved transactions and, and signatures and so forth. And that will get into another video. And that is it for our demo. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I hope that this is inspiring you in some way to think about cool use cases. Let me know what you think about that. And then till next time, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers for now.